Hey, we're back again. Uh, Brian Kelly, you're probably getting tired of hearing about Brian, but I tell you what, he's got a massive amount of wealth here and, and information that we want to share. So one other question I want to ask, Brian, if, if you know, that shop owner like yourself was working your way out of that day-to-day -day operation, right? So how do you know when to step back in or stay out of it? Or we used to turn a while ago is confront somebody or have that hard conversation. How, how do you know when that's necessary and not? So guide us, oh, Meister, and tell us all your knowledge. Yeah, well, I love that question, Gary. That one just tees it up for me. So what I, what I heard and what immediately goes through my head is it's all small problems until they're not. And... That to okay. me is always the thing that shows up is that um, myself, you know, I've, I've got story after story of this and I'll share one here in a second, but uh, it's always small conversations. When I avoid the small conversation, it becomes a big conversation. When it becomes a big mm. conversation, everything unwinds. And, you know, I had an employee and this is early on too. This is uh, we shared some stuff about Emily. And at the time I had a, a guy named Dan working for me and, uh, there are a lot of small conversations and I think I'm, I'm probably 27 years old at the time. Of course, I know, I mean, I know everything there is to know about cars, especially 27. So I must know everything there is to know about business. <laughs> and I certainly know everything there is to know about communication. No question about it. You know, I, I don't know what I don't know yet. And, uh, I, I remember there's, there's conversations to be had at my front counter and, uh, and he would help a little on the front counter, but his primary function was repairing vehicles and, uh, his, his performance had slipped to, he was producing about 18 hours a week. And uh, when, mm. it, when it slipped down to, we'll say 32, we didn't have the conversation. When it slipped down to 30, we didn't have the conversation. When it slipped mm. down to 25, we didn't have the conversation. And, and I look at it now, and as I'm saying it, I'm thinking, man, that was a huge conversation at 32. And now I'm looking at him at 18. And and I remember having a conversation at 18 and the conversation went something like, Hey, Dan, can you tell me why we're not getting any hours? And, uh, you know, his response was, well, this is what I've been doing for 30 years. And Dan was quite a bit older. He was pushing, I think 55, 60 at the time. This is what I've been doing for 30 years. And, you know, of course I wasn't, wasn't prepared to have that conversation either. And I said, okay, Dan, we'll, we'll check back in. And, uh, you know, I, I think, I think <laughs> back and it's like, wow, you know, talk about no, no spine on my part, right? I didn't even have the, the, the determination to have that conversation right then. But, but that conversation got big because he stayed at 18 to 20 hours a week. And I did the calculations later on. Me not having that conversation cost me, and this is 2004, 2005, cost me somewhere in the neighborhood of forty to $55,000. And mm. how many other conversations did I not have that led to those types of disasters. And, and, you know, I, I look back and I think, thank God my business didn't fold under that leadership, but uh, it was all part of the learning process, you know? So, so when it comes to communication, um, looking at every small conversation as though it's the big conversation is what drives me every single day, because it's easy to have the small conversation. Hey, Joe, I just walked back here and, you know, I've noticed that, uh, you were producing about 45 hours a week and, and you're down to 43, you know, is there something going on? Yeah. That's an easy, that's an easy conversation. I come back there and, and whether you're hourly or flat rate, depending on what that looks like, if you're flat rate, I come back there and I say, Hey, you know, you're down to 18 hours and you know, he's already pissed. You know, that, that conversation was that boat <laughs> sailed six months ago. And, no. and he's, he's been living off 18 hours. The other side of it is if he's hourly and I come back there and talk about 18 hours, I'm probably the guy emotional because I've been losing my backside for how many months. And yeah. Yeah. either way, it was a small conversation that ain't small anymore. Yeah. You know, I always call those staff behavior sessions. And we teach how to do a staff behavior session in less than one minute. Okay. And it's, it's a process we take a lot of shop owners through. And a good friend of mine and yours too is Richard Flynn. And he has a great saying, what you don't confront, you validate. And that's really what you were talking about. You waited till that coconut got so big, it was hard to confront it without emotions clashing. And then your leadership skill wasn't ready to handle his answer.
So, so hey, wait a minute. We'll talk about this later. You know, I, I, I got to get out of this conversation because I don't know where to take it.